Yo, I'm going to say it and I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys. It sucks to be a Chelsea fan these days. It sucks. Look. Look at your boy, man. It sucks to be a Chelsea fan, but come on, what's, what's going, going on? on? What's going on with Chelsea? Like, someone needs to get this team together. Someone really needs to seek all these guys down and talk to them because things need to change. Like, like things, things really, 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 really need to change. change. Do you know what I really feel like doing right now? Do you know what I really feel like doing? Let me show you. Let me show you right now. I feel, I really feel, I really need a cuddle right now. I really need something to cuddle with right now because it sucks to be a Chelsea fan. Things are going so bad. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get this over with. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Listen, I'm already pissed. I'm already pissed. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you do three things. You like this video, you comment and you subscribe to the channel because if you don't, I promise you I'm going to break this computer today because I am already pissed. I don't know how many times Chelsea have lost this season, man. Things are going bad around here. And things really, really need to change. Lampard, you need to get this team together. Things are not working. Some people need to be on the bench. Some guys need to really sit their ass on the bench and give a chance to other people. Like, things really need to change and they need to change really fast. Having said that, welcome back again to the channel. Today, we, as you know, we are going to review uh, the game that just happened today. Chelsea at home, we're playing Man City. And guess what happened? Chelsea, once again, has been humiliated, completely destroyed by Man United. I mean, I wasn't... I knew it was going to be a tough game, but at least I, I thought Chelsea was going to put it, put on a good fight because they have been like on the five games lost. Like for the past five games, pretty much Chelsea has lost, except Aston Villa. Because what? Chelsea by now should be fighting for the top four, top three even in the Premier League, not the top eight or top nine. I mean, things are going really bad. But anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to review the game and we're going to comment a little bit and also, you know, say a little bit of what we think what our suggestions are and what really need to improve we know probably you know lampard is going to remain as the manager of the club you know I, I i don't really think personally i don't think lampard is under any kind of threat right now but guess what if it continues like this i'm sure by march if nothing changes, Lampard will be out of this team. But hopefully, hopefully, you know, he's able to get some of the guys together. He's able to talk to some of the new guys, you know, Abraham, Giroud. I mean, they can bring something new. I really honestly think uh, Kai Havertz and Timo Werner really need to sit on the bench. Like, that's my... At this point, like, I'm over it. I mean, we have a lot of hope in these guys, but at this point, I really think that they have to sit down and let other people try. I mean, Giroud has been scoring goals every time he came in, so why not give him a chance why not anyway let's look at the game and we're gonna make some comments as we go along see you guys okay let's start by reviewing the starting 11 like we have mendy in the goal very good goalkeeper that's the best we have right now and then we have the back four as Liquida, zuma tiago and children that's that's the best back four we have at the moment except what's his name again james i mean he can do some good things but as Liquida has experience and that's the type of guy we need for this kind of games in the midfield we have kovacic kante mount that's not bad as a midfield but you know uh, not a lot of experience they accept kante but the rest of them you know not that much experience but they are kind of okay uh, at the front, we have Ziyech, uh, Timo Werner, and uh, Pulitic, the Pennsylvania native. So, pretty much average. Like, I would say average. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, these trees, I'm going to give them about 5 right now. Because they haven't proven much, like, since the beginning of the season. And Ziyech is the only one that, you know, can talk you know loud because his statistic really really can talk for himself because he's been in all the games he's been involved with chelsea chelsea has won like at least a draw with zia so let's go ahead and take a look at the game and really see what happened this is man city starting 11 with stefan the new goalkeeper tones diaz zischenko and cancelo not a really solid back four but you know they can they can very play the ball now in the midfield we have hundergan rodri and the burner very experienced and solid guy then up from you have sterling Foden, and bernardo very solid very exper experienced premier league player so that's pretty much what could have made a difference today black life matter there's neil for that good job then there we go Oh, 
that was a big mistake for a young goalkeeper that was a big mistake i really thought zh was going to do something with this but hey you know probably didn't deserve it anyway what an opening what an opening the guy was there by himself great ball great ball great ball the guy was there by himself look at it again You see how it's so unproductive, like any action we have is so unproductive. Oh Jesus Christ, look at how that goes. Mm, mm, mm. Look at how they completely destroy Chelsea's game. They had a completely distorted game. Ali. That was another goal. That was another goal. <laughs> I mean, I, th I think the main difference in this game was the midfield and the strikers. That was the key difference in this game. Like you can, if you compare Chelsea's like midfield and strikers with Manchester City's, like there is no comparison. Like the experience, they have so much more experience. Look at that. Oh, man. Come on, man. That's so obvious. <laughs> that was that was another goal. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ. That was literally another goal. Like Mendy save. Chelsea so badly, man. Unbelievable. You see how the kind of actions we have? I mean, that was a good try. Not a great action, but luckily Chelsea had a good goalkeeper. Nothing. You see, unproductive, like it doesn't get us anywhere. 
the experience i think that's the key factor in this game the experience they have so much more experience than us See for the game. Chelsea is number eight, like number eight in the classification table. Number eight, twenty-six points after seeing seventeen games. I mean, the goal difference is very good, just the same as Man City, so it's not too bad. Alright guys, having watched this game, I really think at this stage, something needs to happen. Lampard need to let some of the guys know, especially the guys up front, that nobody's position is guaranteed at the beginning of the game. Because he's been giving so many chances to Timo Werner and the guy has not been able to deliver it. However, a guy like Giroud, every time he came on the pitch, like last time, I think Aston Villa, he's the one who scored at Aston Villa last time. That was a 1-1 game. He's the one who scored. So I really think at this point, Lampa need to give more chances to Abraham or Giroud. Because Timo Werner, I mean, he can come in the last 30 minutes of the game. But right now, he's not really the guy. I mean, he's new in the Premier League. Came Kai Havre and Ziyech they are new and we don't really expect them to do much at the you know the, the first time they play in the Premier League it's not easy like they have to get used to the league they have to get used to the different type of plays they have to get used to a different thing but at the, at the same time Chelsea needs to be in the Champions League next year so there's really too not too many excuses we can find to really tolerate this guy but one thing is for sure Chelsea needs to figure something out Lampard needs to do something you really need to tell this guy that hey your position is not guaranteed in this team no more you have you really have to step up you really have to do something because next game i'm gonna try something different i'm gonna give a chance to some new guys i'm not really new but i think the top three is really gonna change it really needs to change because lampard really needs someone who's gonna score goals i mean i, I don't really think we need to go on the market and buy something someone right now i don't really think so but still there have to be some changes there have to be some new people coming in the team they have to be some improvement in this team otherwise chelsea might end up in the second part of the table which is going to be a huge loss of money and if that happens lampard i'm telling you your seat might be for sale because we might soon start looking for someone if you really don't figure this thing out or if you really don't get this thing together i'll bring that spirit in the team because great players don't always make great things having said that guys i want to thank you for coming to the channel if you like this video i want you to do three things first of all i want you to like the video comment and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel because you are really trying to get this channel to 3k by now by the time you i don't know when you're going to be watching this video but hopefully we will reach 3k by the time you watch this video and if you haven't subscribed make sure you go ahead and click on the red button and subscribe and activate the notification bell so that next time i do the video you should be among the first one to notice so having said that happy new year guys and i will see you in the next video take care Bye bye. Today's video is being sponsored by Go Dropping. Go Dropping, as you know, or you might not know, let me tell you what Go Dropping is. If you've been to Ghana, or if you're from Ghana, or if you are planning on going to Ghana very soon, Go Dropping is the app you have to have in your phone because once you get there, you're gonna need to have Go Dropping in your hand to be able to move from one location to other or to be able to transfer certain goods from one place to another. Go Dropping is one of the fastest growing app in Africa, and right now it's still based in Ghana, but it's actually green pretty fast so if you are from ghana or you are planning on going to ghana make sure you download gold dropping in your phone because it's going to be very very useful to you once you get there